horizontal translations move the graph left and right. This is along the x-axis. For example, you can see here the straight line y equals 2x. And if you pick a point on this graph, so for example, this point here, you can see x is 2, y is 4. If we want to shift it to the right as a horizontal translation, we then need x equals 3 to give us the same output, y is 4. Okay, so what we would need to do is something like this. So y equals 2 lots of x take away 1. Because now, if you sub in x equals 3 to this, you would still end up with y is 4. I can show you that. So 2 lots of 3 take away 1. 3 take away 1 is 2. So 2 times 2, you can see we still end up with 4 on the y-axis. To translate left, you can do the same thing, except rather than subtracting here, you would add. So if you want to translate to the left, you change this to a plus and that would move it one to the left instead. So to actually translate the graph, I recommend picking a couple of points. If it's a straight line, you only really need to pick two points and literally just moving them one to the right. So to actually translate the graph here, all we need to do is, because it's a straight line, just pick a couple of points and move those one to the right and then connect them with a straight line. So I now know that point is going to go to here. And I also know if I, for example, pick the origin here, that's going to move one to the right, which is there. Then I can draw a straight line in that connects the two. And you can see that is the resultant line. So this one will be y equals two lots of x minus one, as we discussed previously. Vertical translations move the graph up and down. This is along the y-axis. To shift a graph up by one unit, so here again we have y equals 2x, and again if we pick an example point where x is 2, y is 4 here, we now want to shift the graph up by one, so we want when x is 2, y is 5. So to do that we can form this equation, y equals 2x plus 1. If we wanted to move it down, we could subtract 1 or subtract 2 if you wanted to move it 2 units, etc. And again, to actually translate the graph, just pick a couple of points and move those one up and then connect them with a straight line in this case. So pick that and that and that, connect those two with a straight line and that results in this graph here. We may also write a translation in the form of a vector. For example, A, B like this, where the graph is translated right by A units and up by B units. For example, if we wanted to translate Y equals X squared as what's shown on here, we need to first deal with the A, which is a horizontal translation. So that must mean we need to do this, Y equals X minus A squared. And then we need to deal with the vertical translation. So we need to add B onto this. Again, just pick a point on the graph. I'm gonna pick this point here that goes through the origin. We want to move it right by A units. So that gets it to there. And then move it up by B units. So that gets it to there. From there, you can just redraw the graph, making sure that same point goes through that point now instead, like that. So this graph is what we had here. Why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains exactly how to solve the problem.